Hi guys and welcome back. Today we're at Classic Race Aarhus for the second round of the Danish Thundersport Championship. I'm here with my teammate Lasse Sorensen and uh, we're going to show you around the pits and show you a little bit of what it's like to be at a racing weekend here in the Danish Thundersport Championship. Why don't you show us like, your car? This is my other teammate, uh, Mikkel C. Johansson. Yes. And uh, this is his car. I need a hand. Let's go. So this is Lasse's Danish Thundersport car. As you can probably see, Lasse Sorensen is pretty tall, so he actually finds it quite difficult to find space for his legs in the car. So he has a flat bottom steering wheel that he can take on and off, uh, so that he has enough space for his legs. And if we take a look inside the car, we have a few buttons we can play with, if you come closer. We have the, the wiper, of course we need if, if there is uh, some kind of rain. We have the front, which is cooling system for the front brakes. And we have defrost, which is for when it's raining, then we have um, some air, warm air going to the front of the window. Then we have lights, which is obviously just lights. And then we have engine fan, which is to cool the, the engine. Ignition is to, to when we use to, to start the car. And the start button and the master power. And of course, the steering wheel, is, which is quite simple. We have the radio here uh, and the dashboard behind it, so it's quite quite simple and easy to... Drive. What about the pedals? We have three pedals. We have the, the throttle, the brake, and, and the clutch here. So it's uh, it's quite simple also. Now, as well the shifter, it's, it's pretty easy. It's like we have four gears and it's just like a H. So when you go to first gear, second gear, Third gear and fourth. But it's a straight cut gearbox, so actually when you change up a gear, and also when you go down gears, you don't necessarily have to uh, use the clutch. So obviously that makes it quite a bit faster. Yeah. And Mikkel's car is very much the same, except his car is an Audi lookalike. Now if you, see, if you saw my last vlog from uh, the first race of the season, you would have seen Lasse's crash, where he actually destroyed his car, and therefore his car now looks more like my car. Uh, which is a Camaro lookalike. Uh, I won't be racing this weekend uh, because I will only be doing the three races at Jullensvang, but I'm here uh, to learn as much as possible. So I'm going to learn from these two boys as much as I can, and we'll be following these guys throughout the weekend. And this is our team photographer, Stephen. Hi. Shake it. And then make it. So, uh, we are live here from uh, the Banana Republic. Uh, today we are together with Mikkel C, my, my teammate as well. Here Mikkel C is, uh, is quite uh, ready when I'm ready. So And I'm ready and he, he's ready as well. I don't know what to do with my hands. I feel like I was on a spaceship. Cut. Cut. So the boys are about to head out to qualifying now, and uh, we're going to follow them up to the pits. Uh, and they, I think, uh, I think they're about to get ready. So let's uh, follow them uh, throughout the qualifying and hope, uh, hope for the best. Crossing our fingers. How did qualifying go? Uh, it didn't go 
very well. I got blocked by a guy. I was the speed was quite good, but uh, then suddenly a guy was was warming up his tires, and then yeah, he blocked me the whole lap, uh, and I think we lost around three to to four seconds just just on that case. Uh, and then, yeah, that's how it is, that's racing, and then just gotta focus on, on the first race. So the boys are about to head out for their first heat, and they are starting way back in the grid, although we were, both, we were all hoping for a top five qualifying. I'm afraid they were hit by a bit of bad luck and bad weather, so they're starting quite far back, but hoping to progress throughout the race. This race is gonna, it's gonna be like riding a spaceship, flying around the corners. <laughs> final day of Classic Race Aarhus and the last two races of the Danish Thundersport Championship round here at Aarhus and um, the, for the first race the boys are going to start second and fourth so really exciting to watch and see how they uh, how they do during, during the race and during the rest of the races throughout this weekend. They are focusing now on what they have to do throughout the race but their cars are being pushed up so I'm going to go with the cars and see the guys later. Good. 